Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, the final part of my uh, how to destroy a canvas or not destroy a canvas or what really can we do to double sided tape? <laughs> Okay, my three lovely ladies, um, Claire, Kay and Rachel. Did all receive their parcels. They all, I sent them four canvases each with the drills. Um, I wrapped the canvases all together. I will put links to their three videos if you want to go and see um, what actually happened to the canvases in transit and basically nothing. Uh, they all arrived fine. Okay, there were all the canvases, but they had been flat for a long time. And then they were all rolled up and sent through the post. Uh, and they went, were sent second class, so it's not like they went super fast and got there super fast. Uh, and we did have a couple of strike days in between as well. So they did take a while to arrive. So it's not like they were just from one place to the next place really quickly. They probably bobbed about a few different places. If that's a description of de delivering post, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And I'm just going to have a final look at these canvases as well. And I've got a new little gadget to show you. Uh, and this one is thanks to the lovely Linda for recommending it. So let's have a look at these first. Uh, this is the one that I've messed about with a lot. It's been folded all different ways and I've been having quite a play about with it. So I think I'm going to have to get my squizzers out and I'll need my... Uh, pointy scissors for this one not my lovely rainbow scissors because I need to get into a small gap with this one uh, but basically I think I'm no longer frightened about double-sided tape and manhandling it and you know obviously try and not destroy it and don't really do what I've done with this but I think it's pretty robust I think you know we're all treating it with kid gloves and possibly you don't need to Obviously, it may depend on what canvas you've got, what the quality of the canvas is, um, which manufacturer it is, uh, what country you live in. I think heat possibly affects it as well. But certainly, from my point of view, I've rolled these a few different ways. Um, I would say you can roll a double-sided tape canvas back up to not a huge detriment to the canvas. So let's get this in on this uh, table and have a look. As you can see, we've got a couple of creases in the actual top sheet. Or maybe you can't. Let me see. It's a dark in here today again. And uh, yeah, there's a few creases sort of here. Okay, but let's see whether they actually translate onto the actual drilling area, the canvas part itself. Oh, yes, we have got a crease. Okay. So that's good because I want to be able to... Oh, there's the other bit of the cellar tape. I thought there was a bit missing. <laughs> and just roll this back. So, yeah. Um, and also, I think you can pretty much um, mend your canvases as well. Get rid of the rivers and bubbles. Right, so this one now... Oh, yeah, it's given up the ghost. I don't know whether you can... Can we get in on that? Yeah, you can. You can just see... There's a river going right down here. You could just about see it in the shadow. Let me see if I can get it a bit better. Yeah, you can just sort of see a dent. So we have got a river in this one. Okay, and actually that's good because I want to try out my new gadget. Uh, and basically what that means is that the tape has sort of shrunk a little bit and the canvas underneath is slightly wider than the tape on top. So the tape now is actually just a little tiny bit away from the back. So if you start putting drills on that, you're gonna end up with a bit of a bumpy canvas. Okay, so let me just flatten it down this side. So yeah, this one has been manhandled a lot. So what is it, three experiments I've done on it? And yeah, actually one of the canvases that I sent Claire, um, the giraffe canvas in the taxi, is the one that I used on my previous set of experiments. And if you look at her video, 
it's fine it's just not really a problem at all so let me just flatten it down at this side as well and see if we've got any at this side okay we've got a bit of a yeah we've got a bit of a river going down there okay that's say it just doesn't particularly worry me anymore i know how to deal with them um, but yeah so this one hasn't fared as well it's got fed up basically and also i think our weather has got an awful lot colder so quite possibly um the glue the tape that's on the top the double-sided tape has sort of contracted got a bit smaller whereas when it was the hotter weather maybe it expanded out a bit so i don't know i don't know the whole answers these are just my thoughts these are just the experiments that i've been playing with so let me just pop those scissors out of the way a second right okay so normally when we get rivers or bubbles or whatever oops sorry i'm knocking the camera a bit here so say so what i would normally do is get either scissors or a craft knife and score down the rivers so that the the double-sided parts that little bit and lays flat again but say so the lovely uh, linda c i won't say her first name because i don't uh, her full name because i don't know whether she wants me to say it said she uses a dimer roller and oh, there's quite a lot of them this is from uh, amazon it was two pound 99 and really what they are is for skin, uh, for people that are, have skin problems. Uh, I think it's supposed to put little holes in your skin so that um, it, it heals your skin better or something like that. I'm not a dermatologist, I know nothing about skin, um, only what I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a little ruler and it's got lots and lots of little tiny needles on it. So I don't know whether I'd fancy having that rolled across my face, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, I say crafters, we like to repurpose things. And Linda said, you can use this for your canvases. So you can just literally roll it up and down your canvas. Yay! And that's making that flat. Well, that's amazing. That river that was there has now gone. Because <laughs> obviously it's rolling it, but it's flattening it at the same time as well. So I'll just do one down that bit there. Oh, this is amazing oh wow i could sit and play like this all day you know me and the little toys so there was quite a big one there and let's just see and it's not hurting your canvas because the needles they're not that sharp i mean it's it's i don't know how to describe it really it is just sort of lots of little needles on a roll yeah you can see it a little bit of there look they're not very deep, so I wouldn't recommend doing it directly onto a table, just in case it does go through. But yeah, so if you get a bad canvas, just literally get your little derma roller. They do come in different sizes and different prices and things, but I just got the cheapest one that there was that I saw and thought, right, oh, I like the noise as well. Oh, I could sit and play with this all day. It's like a fidget toy. <laughs> But that has flattened out that canvas. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, and, and as you do in your canvas, if you suddenly find that you've got um, a little bit, you know, that's that's not great while you're doing it, you can just whip your little roller out and have a go. And not everybody's comfortable using a craft knife or using your scissors or whatever. And you might be a bit worried about cutting all the way through. Well, using this, you're not going to cut all the way through. So, wow, love that. Uh, I'll put the link down below to this one that I got. But yeah, that's a real dinky little doodah. So big thumbs up to Linda for recommending it. Thank you. That's brilliant. Oh, I could sit and play with this all day. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you want your canvas flat because we have enough trouble, particularly with squares, um, getting them to sit together and not pop or whatever. So the flatter you have your canvas and your glue that's on top, then the better it's going to be. But that's amazing. I love that. I love that. Right. So let's flatten this side down. and We'll just have a quick look at the back and make sure that we haven't got uh, hundreds of little holes in the back of our canvas. Okay, and no was the answer. Look, you can still see the creases. Oh, can you, can you, can you? 
yeah you can still sort of see the creases on the back let's see if you can use it on the back as well then you can oh wow it flattens the back down as well oh look at this okay obviously I don't want somebody coming back at me saying I spent a hundred pound on the canvas and I used one of those rollers and it didn't work for me and um, what I would suggest is if you've got a canvas just maybe try a little corner first but oh that's amazing that's even flattened down the back you watch I'll pick it up now and it'll all fall apart because it's full of holes <laughs> No, because your canvas is actually like a material and um, you just basically just reminds me of you know going around in your high heel shoes on your dad's lawn when he says so i just need to aerate the lawn just go around and walk about a bit in your high heel shoes it's like yeah dad but are you going to clean them afterwards for me <laughs> but that is amazing okay so yeah if you start messing about with it too much, opening it, rolling it back, rolling it different ways, then it's going to make your canvas a little bit unhappy. But as I say, I want your little gadget has worked wonders on that. Yay! Okay, let's just have a quick look at this one. This is one that is my oldest double-sided tape canvas that I had that I decided to uh, roll up just to see what would happen to it. Uh, it has been flat ever since I unboxed it. Uh, in November 2020. <laughs> oh dear, if I keep this one much longer, it will be two years old. It's coming up to its birthday. And I did put proper sellotape on so that it would keep it really, really taut and not sort of slacken and unroll at all. Okay, and this one came from GB Craft Saving. I don't even know if they're still on the go now. But uh, yeah, this was my, oops, bye. Thought it was going to be a lot bigger than it was. You live and learn. It's certainly one of those uh, hobbies or pastimes, shall we say, that, uh, yeah, once you've uh, started doing it, you just learn all the time as you go along. Right, so there's creases in the paper. And I did roll this one back up the way that it actually came as well. I didn't do anything funny with this one. And this looks absolutely as perfect as it's going to be. It is just the paper that's crinkled, not the canvas. Uh, as, because we get the three strips, there is a little bit of a overlap down the middle, which I don't like. Oh, have we got just one crease there? We have. We've got a big river there. So I'm telling Porkies, this isn't brilliant. So we've got one. You can just about see it. One really big river. Oh, you can see it now, look, right down the middle there. So let's have a go with our little tool. <laughs> I'm going to be ruining all the canvases now just so I can have a play. <laughs> so, oops. Caught the canvas underneath then as well. I'm doing two at once. A tool fair. <laughs> believe that has flattened that out a little bit so we will cover this over and then I'm going to do it from the back as well because I quite like doing it from the back <laughs> get that flattened there okay we'll just do this little bit here so that it stays flattened and these will now stay flattened until they get done um, I think these will both be going in my D stash so watch this space. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with my dig stash yet. How I'm going to do it to make it fair to everybody. Um, I don't know whether to, you know, everybody that says I would like that one put names in a hat or whoever's first. But then people are all different time zones. So I don't want to be disappointing people either. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think for, is the best way to do sort of like dig stashing. Um, people to uh, get their hands on the ones that they want because I have got quite a few and I think what I'm going to do is just probably charge a couple of pounds each plus postage so you know probably cheaper than I've paid for most of the canvases uh, they will all be ones that I've purchased as well oops that's just come off its roller slightly there I'm getting a bit too carried away uh, yeah so let's have a look at that crease now and see where we are See if it's flattened down a 
this side it has that crease has gone here so let's see let's see let's see and yeah it's gone <laughs> Okay, as I say, I'm not uh, claiming to be an expert. It's just, you can just more or less see it, but that is flat now. That is just brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> but, you know, obviously give it a try, but do so sparingly. Um, as I say, there's things that I've done with these canvases I wouldn't recommend doing. Um, but I've always wondered, if you turn a double-sided canvas, Roll it back up. What actually does happen? Because we always say, open them carefully. Don't pull the cover sheet too much because you'll get bubbles and creases and rivers and things on them. Um, and don't then re-roll it because it'll destroy your canvas and it'll destroy the glue. And actually, yeah, it can affect it a little bit, but certainly not so that the canvas is unusable. Um, and I've really had my eyes opened, I think, with this. And say, I... I tend, I like to make my own mind up about things and I always like to question things. It's like when well, somebody says to me, oh, don't roll it back up, you'll ruin it. Well, why will it ruin it? How will it ruin it? What What's that actually going to do? So that's why I started these experiments. I have done quite a few. This is the second round of them. And as I say, this time I got my friends involved as well. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm quite uh, happy i don't think i'm going to do any more now on double-sided tape tape not for the foreseeable anyway unless anything particularly changes i do love my new little roller i think this is super i shall certainly be uh, having a good play about with this if i come across any bubbles or rivers in future uh yeah it's certainly uh, <laughs> easier than getting your craft knife out and having to look you can just go all over your canvas I say, obviously, don't do, it, don't do it too much. I don't want you to pick it up and it all goes... <laughs> okay, uh, just finally finish with a thank you to Linda for recommending this. I love it. It's great. Great fun to play with, if nothing else. Uh, and obviously, Claire and Kay and Rachel, just for helping me out, uh, taking some canvases off my hands. Hubby's really delighted that some canvases are actually going out the house as well as coming into the house. And uh, yeah, so any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below and I will try and answer them for you and get back to you as soon as I can. If you've enjoyed watching this, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you do want to come back and see what I get up to next and I've got all sorts of experiments planned, then if you press that subscribe button and that all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. And don't forget to check out the girls' videos as well that I've linked down below if you want to see some more uh, unboxings of uh, my canvases that I've tried to destroy. Okay, well, that's me done. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.